guys are growing up and getting better and improving. So uh, it's good. That's what we needed to have happen. You know, you know, you have to have a, a certain level of flexibility in what you do on defense, and you know, you always have you know, quote unquote, weaknesses or areas that you got to be better at, or um, sometimes it's perceived, sometimes it's real. And um, again, you just got to keep getting better, you know, uh, in the little things, fundamentally understanding and things of that nature. And as you go through the season, you continue to grow and evolve and develop, but you have to have some depth to what you do. And, um, and you have to have answers, you know, for what offenses do. So that's, um, that's been as, as big of an improvement, you know, anywhere. And some of it's just we had a bunch of guys that hadn't played very much and certainly hadn't played, you know, starter type snaps. So uh, getting that to come on, uh, you know, it's, it's been a big deal and a big area of emphasis. And our coach has done a great job and our players done a great job, you know, grinding. Like you said that's the time in the game where, you know, we, we give up points and when it comes to stats and, you know, defensive ratings and stuff like that, you know, it doesn't matter when in the game it comes. Um, you know, it still counts. So I, I think we took a step forward in that aspect too. Uh, you know, just you know, not as much drop off. You know, when we when we swapping guys out. They, they did a little play action pass, um, and we were in man coverage. And you know, my coverage was the back, and I saw him stay in. So a lot of the things that linebackers do, they kind of add on to their coverage. So I added on to um, you know my coverage and tried to make a play, and was able to get my hand on the ball and popped it loose. Tried to scoop it up, couldn't get it, but. Um, uh, thankfully, Logan Rudolph was able to scoop it up and score. I had a split second there to make that decision, and I figured I would have enough time if I grabbed it pretty quickly. So just tried to uh, capitalize on that moment, and it worked out. So yes, sir. You know, I'd like to say you may look back to see if anyone is chasing you there. And yeah, you yeah, I had to make sure I wasn't going to get hocked down, you know. So, But no, there was nobody there, and, and it all worked out. So yes, sir. I think a couple things, just getting in a rhythm, gets you more efficient, and then also going fast keeps the defense from doing certain things you know they got to get their call quick so they kind of just go to their base defense instead of scheming up a lot of things when you sit there and wait on them so that's helped us a lot and then um, and just like especially tonight like the O-line played great just being able to, to sit in the pocket and you know let some plays develop down the field they've done a really good job of that and uh, just proud of them. There's definitely a uh, balance to it I mean I think the the RPO uh, there's I mean, we, we hit some nice some of the touchdowns we threw out there were RPOs, but I think for us, with a guy like Travis back there in the backfield, you want to make sure that you have enough um, design runs where we're definitely going to get the ball in nine's hand. And, uh, and this can be a little bit tricky because you can fall in love with the RPOs, but I think having the right uh, balance uh, in the RPOs and, and uh, guaranteed handoffs, I think we did a really good job of kind of mixing that in today. Coach, uh, coaches did with the right mentality. Uh, I like to take that back. It kind of is a little different, honestly. Uh, when you, you know you got a possible ball to back situation, and then you know when you're getting it, when I'm getting, I kind of like hit it faster and uh, don't have to hesitate. But um, when I'm not, I got kind of like read it and uh, just feel, have a feel for it. So I mean, uh, it's just, but I feel like this will make our offense great. Uh, just giving Trev that option to take it and uh, throw it to the receiver, or just take it and run around the edge. Keep uh, defenses honest. What about in terms of just? Three straight games of 100 yards or more. I mean, do you feel like you've hit your groove in the season? You feel really good right now. Uh, I, yeah, I feel like I feel good. Just uh, just goes to my prehab and uh, just the castle that we have in there. And the offensive line has been doing a really great job. Uh, just getting me to the second level and make, uh, just giving me a chance to make plays. The guys were dialed in, and that's really what gives you confidence as a play caller. When the guys are dialed in, you know, they they they. they when they're going out and executing everything that you had scripted in the first, you know, first couple of drives, lets you know that man, they they've, they've really, really taken ownership of the plan, and that's what really helps you as a play caller. When you know that everything that you call, you have confidence that these guys can transfer what we did in practice to the game. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. I'm super proud of him, and I'm, I mean, we've we've gotten to be pretty close friends, and just like I said, seeing how hard he's worked the past two years that I've been here has been uh, it's it's really cool to see him kind of get rewarded for that. And, you know, we have so many good players. <clears throat> Sometimes he can get overlooked, and it's just, I mean, we just have so many good guys. But I, I knew a night like this was coming. I'm happy it was tonight. I mean, they seen the type of guy I am. I kind of been, you know, just about my business, keeping my head down, steady working, no matter what the outcome or the results are of any game. So, I mean, everybody pretty much was kind of happy for me, and I kind of felt the love the first time. So proud, so proud of DeAndre. You know, he's a guy that that, that came here with, yeah, with probably lofty goals and, and – 
and, uh, and ambitions and desires, and, and things may not have, have come to fruition the way he wanted to. But you know what? He decided to, to stick around. He, he loved his Clemson experience. You know, he loved uh, you know everything outside of maybe the stats that he may have wanted had had to have over his career. And just to, to on this night to, to not only win the MVP but to tie a record. And there's been some really really good receivers that have come through here, and now his name is in the record books. And and then just the way that he addressed the team afterward, just so humble, and and just encouraging the young guys and letting them know that. You know, hey, just stick with it, and your time's going to come. And, and, and really deflected all of the credit, you know, to his teammates, and that's just awesome. It's just the type of young man he is. I was hoping and praying for a night like this, but uh, it's just showing that, you know, you can keep the faith that a lot of, a lot of times uh, everything's going to play out. You just have to be patient and just know your role. You said you addressed a lot of time. You really kind of gave that same message to the guys as well. Right. That's what I gave to the guys. Is I know there's a, a lot of talk, a lot of rhetoric going around, but um, – I just kind of encourage them, you know, just stay that path and everything's going to fall in place.